sign there. Police Department, 1983. Outside doors are looking kind of dingy. like they work. Alright. They sort of work. request in person. You have to send an email. But this is not, we don't do that in here. Is this the records department? I'll give you the email and you can do it. Okay, so you're refusing to take my records request? You're, you're refusing? Just 
with the process that you have to go through. What is it you're trying to get? I need public records, and Florida state law is very specific. I don't have to email. Okay, well, that's the only way you can get it. What is it that you're trying to get? I'm trying to find out. There's a SUV you have in the back lot. It's uh, painted up for 4th of July, Happy Birthday America, whatever. I just want to find out the cost of that SUV for the taxpayers and how often it gets used. That's not something we would have here in records. We wouldn't know that information in records. Go down to the front and ask to speak to a sergeant. Maybe they can provide you with the information, but that's not something we would have. We only have police reports here. So you don't handle all the records for the police? No, no. We only handle police reports for individuals that call the police. That's it. We don't handle that type of thing. Well, you're the first records department in any PlayStation I've every, ever heard. Every agency is different. Yeah. All right, so go to the front. Mm -hmm. All right. looking for some records and a lady in the records department told me to come up here and ask for a sergeant perhaps no no I want to find out there's an SUV you guys have parked in the back parking lot there I want to find out how much it uh, how much it costs and how often uh, they use it it's the one that's made up as the 4th of July SUV public records request and they've directed me to your department fleets uh, no I've already been to records they don't handle this type of record I went to the, the front information and they told me to call you that's about yeah for fleets I need information on an SUV you guys have parked in the back lot there they told me to call you Okay. No, it's for a police vehicle. Six four one eight. Okay.
Yeah, I tried calling them. I wasn't able to get an answer through fleets. All I need is someone to take my public records request and they can email me the information. I don't want to wait all day for these guys to do the runaround. So if, but they, they said they don't handle those records. Yeah. Okay. I need someone to take my public records request here. If you can't do that, then I need to see a sergeant or, or watch commander or somebody else that will take my public records request at this time. Okay, thank you. Uh, I have a phobia of computers, so I don't use computers. No, it's actually not a computer, but uh, Florida law doesn't require me to email anybody. Hey, yeah, I was just up here and I went down there Hi. and... What'd they say? Huh? What happened? They told me to come back down here and you guys would take my request and forward it to whoever needs it. No, it's, that's what she was trying to explain to you earlier, sir. You have to send an email to the public request site, to their email, and then somebody will get back in contact with you with the information. Okay, do we... Is this a police station? Yes, sir. Okay, so we, we'll, we go by the law, right? Yes, we do, sir, and those, that's, sir. Okay. What I'm telling you is that you have to, if you want to do a public request, you have to send an email for that request. Okay, let me, There's let, nothing me else. let me, let me just clarify for my lawyer. I can't make a verbal or written request here at the agency. I have to go online and do my you public request. You have to go online and make the request, And yes. that's your policy. Website and everything, yes it is. Okay. All right. Uh, you want the email address? I'll be glad to give it to you. No, I'd like to speak with a supervisor. Our supervisor is in a class today, so she's not here right now. Um, Let me speak to the watch commander, whoever's the okay. head guy here in the station. That would be up front. All right. Let me give you the email. You don't want the email address? No, I, I told you. I, I have a phobia of computers. I don't know what you people don't understand. Oh, you didn't tell me that. I'm sorry. I didn't, uh, didn't know that. What are you doing today? Yeah, you go down there and you ask him that way. The counter.
they they sent me back up here. I need to see a watch commander or somebody that's in charge.
hired someone to do my hands. Uh, he requires a thousand dollars a month, and the guy didn't even show up for about two months. SUV that you had parked out back with the uh, 4th of July decals and the happy birthday America and okay. so I need to know how much that costs uh, for that SUV and when we use that SUV like is it just for the 4th of July is it what well, you know when, when do we choose? use it right okay. is it, is it, you know it's, I see it's parked back there now uh -huh. so parked back there all year and just taken out on the 4th of July I need that kind yeah, of information I tell you honestly um, you're trying to find out what, okay. Um, and, and I have another also uh, request after that. What's the, other, what's the other request? Um, I need a uh, list of any people banned or blocked or hidden on the Fort Lauderdale Police Department Facebook page, if you have one. Alright, let me see who would have any knowledge of those things and I'll get back to you in just a second. Okay.
help you? Do you want to know about the vehicle? Yeah, well, I had public records requests, two of them. One was about the vehicle. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, so you already submitted the public records requests? Well, I told the lady, but I don't, she said she'd be back. I, I don't know. Let me ask you this. What specifically is it that you want? Because we're trying to find the... I want to find out the cost of the vehicle, and I want to find out how often the vehicle is used. Is it only used on, like, the 4th of July, since it's got 4th of July decals mm -hmm. on it? Um, so we use it every day, even though it's got the. I don't. I, we oh, don't yeah. have that answer for you. That's what we're trying to find out for you. Okay. Because and we're trying to find the right entity to answer that question for you. That's why I'm asking you specifically. Now you said you have a public records request. That means you already submitted one. No, they won't take my public records request. Oh. They said I have to email. Yeah, you, yeah. That's that's what I was going to say to you. There's a procedure for that. Uh, here, let me read the law here to you. As noted in Attorney General Order 8057, a custodian must honor a request for copies of records, which is su sufficient to identify the records desired, whether the request is in writing, over the phone, or in person. If a public agency believes that it is necessary to provide written documentation of a request for public records, the agency may require that the custodian complete an appropriate form or document. Okay, so we're, what we're happens is I make the request, and if you believe it needs to be emailed, then it's up to you guys to email it. Hold on a second, sir. Mm -hmm. There are people in place to do all of those things. That's why we're trying to find the right person, not me, not on my level, not on her level. We're police officers. That's why we want to know specifically what, we're not denying you anything. We want to know specifically what it is that you want, so we make sure and get you to the right person so well, right. that you aren't bounced around. But so, I, that's, what I, that's what's been happening, but I told them like 10 times what I wanted. Okay. So I'm unsure why it's taken so long, but uh, well, because we have because that's not done on this level, but, so we have to try to find out the right entity because we don't want to just give you any number and that's not the right number. And then well, you can't get what you want. Right. Listen, all that needs to happen is somebody that knows how to write and they can take no, my request. Not, no, that's not how it goes, sir. We have policy and procedures here, and we have to follow the policy and procedure, which is why we're trying to find out exactly what you want so we get you to the right place so that you can get the information that you need. You but guys follow the law, can't, right? We can't, sir. I, I'm simply telling you that we're trying to get you to the right person. No one is denying you the request. We're trying to get you to the right person who is the custodian of those records so that you may obtain them. That's all. So that's all we just want to know specifically what you want is so that we can get you to the right person. Okay? Okay. So in other words, in not obeying the law, which states that any member of the agency can take the record request. So we'll wait for longer till they dick around some more. Undercover.
Hello. Hello. Can you help with something? Can you take a public records request? They do it over there in records. I've already tried them. Okay, they won't do it for you? No. Okay, sir, I've got some answers for you. So, in regards to the vehicle questions, you'll need to speak with Captain Sousa or somebody from his department in support services, business extension. And Casey, I sorry about the last name, I can't spell, I pronounce that. That's her extension, and she's our PIO, which would be in charge of Facebook. And any okay. public records request is Kim Rhodes. Is that the lady back there? The, the problem I'm having here, and I'll be honest here with you. Go. you the problem I'm having here mm -hmm. is that when you go to an agency, Florida law requires that if I walk up to this window and say I need a public records request, mm -hmm. I tell them the request, they write it down, and they forward it to whoever it needs to go to. Now, if that's your records department, fine. If that's your front counter, that's fine. If that's you, that's mm -hmm. fine. That's the correct term. That's mm -hmm. the correct policy. Whatever policy. Well, I'm not familiar with that, but I can tell you well, it's that. The, it's the law. So everybody that works okay. in a police department should be familiar with the law that applies to them. Uh, I understand public records requests and that that's you okay. know, information that's available to the public is has to go through a certain chain. There's specific people that handle that. Right. Yeah. Our public records person is Kim Rhodes. Mm -hmm. um, as far as. But they won't take my public records request back there. They say I have to email it. Thank you. Um, that must be the procedure and how our police department handles public records requests. I know okay. that's what's done in the past. Okay, but, um, but the law, which I have right here on my phone, and you'll have to speak says with that this. I don't need to do that. Okay, well, so, can, is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, yeah, if somebody with a pen and a paper can just write down my request and my wife's email address and they can figure out where it needs to go. I've already spent like an hour here waiting on it, so... Um, it's, it's, it's basic. I don't understand how it's such a What's problem. Your, what, but I just explained to you. What you're asking okay, so, about Okay, so what needs vehicle? to happen is, okay. is my request needs to be taken down, and then whoever takes it can forward it to these okay. people. Well, what, I'm, what I'm explaining to you is what you're asking for, the two things that you asked for, mm -hmm. with the vehicle information and the Facebook stuff. Right. Those are not public records things. Those are internal things and how we handle... They're, they're public Our vehicles. Records. Right, that's a public okay. record. And it, that's, but it's not public records in the sense of what you're referring to in regards to the law. This is just stuff internal. So, any, any, Captain Sousa and Support Services can help you with the vehicle. Right. And Facebook would be. But let me let me clarify. PIO. You're, you work here on that computer, right? Correct. Let's say you write a love email to your husband. That's a public okay. record. Sir. So it doesn't matter what I, you do inside. It's what I've explained record. to you is how things are. What you're asking for is not anything more than just general information of how this department handles things. Right, so, exactly. It shouldn't be a difficult okay. procedure. If you have a public records request, it's already been explained to you on how you need to take care of that and how you request that. If you don't have any other questions or business here, then I'm going to have to ask you to leave. 
um, my business is nobody else's business, and I'm allowed to be in a public building as long as I want. Thank you. Well, is there anything else that we can help you with? Uh, you haven't helped me with anything, so, I mean, no, you can leave. Oh, take care of the other guy. All right. Sabrina, Sabrina, I'm going to get somebody else, all right? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for Miss Casey Lang. Lang. Hi, how you doing here, ma'am? Good. I am in the Fort Lauderdale Police Department here, and I've been trying to make a public record request for the last hour, and they keep giving me the runaround, and they keep telling me I have to email stuff, and I, I have the law right here on my phone in my hand, and they're they're just not understanding. So. I need someone who understands the public record law and the fact that all I need and all I've ever needed was for somebody to write down my request, forward it to whoever needs it forwarded to, and then to email my wife the results. And, and I'm, 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 I'm unsure why they don't understand this. This is a police department and, and they handle the law here, so I, I would hope that they knew the law. But it. it okay. Right, if somebody wants to email, that's fine, but I'm sure, you, as you know, the Florida Records Request Law does not require me to email. It requires, if I come in and ask for a public record for the custodian or any, actually, I'm requesting two different kinds of records. There's a SUV that's parked in the back parking lot, and I wanted to know specifically how much the vehicle costs, uh, including the pinstriping of graphics, and how often we use the vehicle. And then my second request was um, how many people are banned, hidden, or blocked from the Fort Lauderdale Police Department Facebook page. I mean, uh, that's the thing. That they've been trying to do that for an hour now, and they keep giving me this place and this place and this place. And I don't have a lot of time. All I need is for someone to take down the information, write down the email address, and then they can spend all week looking for the person that it goes to. I don't care. Okay. Um, I, 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 I do, but I, I don't give out my number. But I have an email address for my wife that the information can be sent to. But again, I just need someone to take the information. <laughs> sure. All right. Uh, I go by Captain Awesome. I remain anonymous when I do record requests. Thank you.
inside your house? He put it in the hallway because he said it's Is it? No, it's in the hallway, so like he said it's a common question. Is it it's in the hallway on the outside or in the inside of your apartment? But you in the hallway where we all have to come down through. Oh, that hallway. Yeah. don't give out legal advice. <laughs> you need a lawyer. email address and I would have been gone out of here 45 minutes ago. Okay. Yeah, let me get a pen. Yes. I'm going to give you this. These are the two names of uh, the people that run that. Yeah, no. I'm going to get your information. I'm going to email They already gave this to me. They did? Yeah, they gave this to me. Okay. Just go by Captain Awesome, that's fine, you can address it. Why don't you write it down?
general on the press charges. So who do I speak to? Do you have a case number of the incident? No, no, it's pretty yes, you have a case number. I didn't want to find out where you know how on the press charges. What was it? What was the case? I can't get some of the police press charges. That's not the best if I don't know what they're talking about. Okay. If domestic violence cases, though, the state automatically yeah. takes over Should prosecution, so we can, we can, you can, huh? Um, Did it put um, it on the um, um, Hold on one second. It was like a ball of paper. Okay. We called down there. Do you have a case now? Yeah, get it. Let's look it up. Let's see what the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Depending on what it was, we'll figure out what you need to do. Because we all got that to the um, state attorney, so we don't have to go out of the courthouse. They don't want to talk Is he arrested? No. He didn't have a warning with the procedure of Richard So I was like, we're going to go all the way down in there. We should fit this call. All right. Well, when she gets the number, let me look it up, and I'll see what the case is. And from there, I'll, I'll tell you what you need to do. If it's one of our cases, we can have one of the research, the, the station report, do a supplement to it. Because tell us it, it's her case, it, I'm not because, but when she told us to take the to take the I'm from San Diego. That we can call her name again, and now there you go. That's all I needed. Okay. Thank you, buddy. All right, take it easy. Yep. Can't believe it took a fucking hour just to get that done. See, they really like to eat up your fucking time at these places, being fucking dicks. It is specifically the SUV I was talking about. Fourth of July. Yada, yada, yada. 230053 on the back of his car. Were those license were those license plate readers on the back of his trunk? What was that? Were those license plate readers on the back of his trunk? I am not sure They were on the back of his trunk. There were three of them sticking up, pointed out to the side. Do you guys have license plate readers on any of your cars? Uh, we got some yeah, sure. Okay, that's what they were. Thank you.
All right, so the Fort Lauderdale police has got license plate readers on the back of their car. They're just driving around reading people's license plates all day.